You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Warum ich dir sage? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? Ich will nicht erschießen. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Wir legen einfach Roman. Shell, what's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to Alter, us? Alter. She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be her last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. Alter, was geht mit dir ab? Schlüssel? You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Nee. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Mein Plan ist jetzt eigentlich Roman auszuschalten. Und mit Stephanie zusammen abzuhauen. Ich weiß aber nicht, ob es diese Option gibt. Ich hoffe es einfach mal. Tut mir leid, ich auch. Tut mir leid, ich auch. Mir geht's gut, ich auch. Die sind groß scheiße, ich auch. Manu! Toll ey, das hasse ich. Jetzt kriege ich nicht mal die Option dafür. Okay, dann machen wir das noch und dann mache ich einen Aufnahmestopp. 
Russell. Wie Karussell. Bloß in schwarz. Was? He walks this road, Tag 184. To the lonely street. Na, wen haben wir denn da? Ist das eventuell jemand, der aus dem Wohnwagen geschmissen wurde, weil er gerade jemand abgeknallt hat? Hihihihi. Wo denn Tommy unter unterm Wohnwagen hing? Ich weiß es nicht. Könnte auch ein Zombie sein, der unter unterm Wohnwagen hing. Hey! You getting up? Good. Ich glaube, der hing mal unterm Wohnwagen. <lacht> Weil die Straße kommt mir sehr, sehr bekannt vor. Oh, hallo, hast du etwa einen Schuss bekommen? Ja, Wiedersehen. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? I'm not in a gang. It's fucking racist, man. <laughs> hey, now, I ain't no racist. I just call them like I see them. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in. We'll get there. Or somewhere. Eventually. Ein Chauvet. Ja, es war die Straße. Eindeutig. Okay, tough guy. We both know that ain't true, but okay. I'll do you some fucking good. You wanna tell me about where you come from at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off and do a double back. What's this falsch mit you? Can we just drive? We? Oui. You wanna sit on my lap? I just don't want to talk. You're a tough little nut, Russ. <coughs> Look, man, I'm sorry if I freaked you out at first. We all got our way of coping with shit, right? I guess I can come across a bit. Ah, whatever. I guess. There you go. Relax. We're gonna have some fun. Why don't you tell me where you were before you got here? Fine. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They're all at my grands down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. And a teacher and his wife. Leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so 
We didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors. It was the same every time. He. He. Was hier das mal das Ding? Out, Paco. Just. We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang, they'd be dead. Anyway, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? Give me a little right. something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I put it right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman is all we got left now. No laws, no jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. Whatever. Let's try this again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was dropped, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Ah, like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, hell! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Five. Tell me, Russ. Five! Fucking five! Oh, come on, man! Damn it. Alright. Would you load that? Bullets in the glove there. What? Für ein kranker Wichser. Alter. Guess I've no next breath up. Put it with me. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Right. Oh shit! Go! Get out! <sighs> Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Okay, get ready! Don't stop running! And keep your head down! Son of a bitch! <lacht> oh, ich kill echt alle heute. So, wir machen jetzt den Aufnahmestopp. Wir sehen uns wieder in einer weiteren Folge, wenn es wieder heißt Let's Play The Walking Dead 400 Tage Special. Bis dahin verabschiede ich mich doch aber recht herzlich von euch. Bye, euer Kriegsbrei. Bye.